What's going on everybody? In this video, I wanted to talk about a stock that I've rarely mentioned in this channel, and that's gonna be Rivian stock. They are reporting earnings here after hours, and I wanna go over a couple things here. Now, I did buy a couple of shares just to kinda of track the stock. Definitely didn't buy a big position or anything, and it is up today. Typically don't like to buy stocks on up days, but when you look at it from a chart perspective, it is near its lows. I did wanna go over a couple of things here, and I also wanted to do a little comparison on the Ford and the Rivian and kind of see where things are at there. And let's do it. Now, first off, this article goes into kind of an earnings preview, some things to expect, things to look out for. And it does mention that Rivian already reported their deliveries, 10,000 vehicles in the quarter were produced and 8,000 were delivered. And for the year, Rivian produced 24,000 vehicles, barely missing its 2022 forecast for 25,000 units. One thing to just think about automatically from there is this last quarter they produced 10,000, whereas the whole year they produced 24,000. They're definitely ramping up their production as well as revenue, but we'll go over that in just a second. And as for actual deliveries, they did deliver 20,000 of the 24,000 they produced. Now, Dan Ives, I'm sure you guys have actually heard that name before. He's a pretty good analyst. He's covered other stocks that I've watched. And he says the street will ultimately be focused on what production and delivery factors will look like into fiscal year 2023 as the company capitalizes on its existing demand with the 2023 delivery numbers of around 60,000 unit deliveries looking hittable. And as for what they're expecting to report, they're expecting 717 million in revenue and a loss of $1.91 per share. Now their net income loss is expected to widen, not very surprising as they continue to try to ramp up, but they do need to start tightening that up. They do need to start giving an outlook on profitability soon, but they definitely have a bit of time because they do have a pretty strong balance sheet and we'll look at that in a second. But that revenue figure, that 700 something million dollars in revenue would represent a 34% jump from the previous quarter. And I wanted to show you guys just how much some of their valuation metrics have come down. Now, of course the market cap dropped significantly and that contributes to it, but you'll see that they are at a price to book of one. They are right around book value and price to sales while pretty high has definitely come down quite considerably compared to where it's traditionally been at. And we should expect this to continue to drop more and they're definitely nowhere near profitable yet. So it's very important that they do have a pretty strong balance sheet and they do, they have $13 billion in cash and we will get a new update once the next earnings comes out and this will very likely change. Uh, they only have a debt of under $2 billion. This is a pretty good cash to debt ratio. And this is gonna be very, very important as they continue to have unprofitable quarters. Now I did wanna show you just quickly how their revenue has ramped up. Now, as I said, they are expecting in the 700 millions in terms of revenue this quarter. Last quarter, they reported 536 million. What about the previous quarter? Well, they reported 364 million. What about the one before that? 95 million. And before that, 54 million. This company has been just ballooning its revenue. And what'll be really important to listen to in their call is any words on expected profitability. What's the outlook there? And also, as it said in that article, what's the 2023 year guidance? Is that revenue gonna continue to ramp up at the crazy percentage we've been seeing? It will probably come down just because as that number in revenue goes higher, it gets harder and harder to consistently see those same percentage increases quarter after quarter when we're talking about revenue. I wouldn't expect in a little over a year from them, for example, right here, we had 54 million in revenue. They're expecting the 700 millions. I don't expect them to be over 10X where they are now in terms of their revenue expectation, but could their revenue potentially 5X over the next year and a half? And we start seeing them pulling in somewhere around $4 billion over the coming year. There is definitely a lot of revenue growth to be had here in my opinion. I did wanna show you guys on Rivian that this has been in a clear long-term downtrend almost ever since it came out as a public company. And one thing to look out for here for a potential swing is a flip from the 50 at least to the 100, potentially to the 200, but it could take a while unless we get some really good earnings here. But this still is in what I'd call a downtrend and we need to see these EMAs flip. It could take a little while. And you might be asking, well, if it's gonna take a while, why'd you buy shares now and not in a couple months or something? And that's because mainly I bought a couple of shares to track the stock. And another reason is I do think when we get to a risk on market, people will start speculating into things like this and Lucid. And while I don't believe this is the next Tesla, nor do I believe Lucid is, there are gonna be speculators that wanna see those kinds of gains that Tesla had over the last decade. And I do think people are gonna speculate into things like Rivian, into Lucid saying this is the next Tesla. Well, I don't think it is. But that doesn't change the fact that some of Wall Street might think that. And also I did wanna pull up their current competition and none other than the Ford Lightning. There really isn't another truck out there right now besides the Hummer, but that's a lot higher in price. But you'll see that across the board here besides this 2017 gas powered Ford is that these lightnings go for anywhere from 80,000 to hundred thousand dollars. And this is an insane markup from where they MSRP, but this is the current prices for Fords. And we have three real world examples of some Rivians for sale here. These range from around 95 to $105,000. And here's an example of a middle range 
Ford Lightning, the cheaper version, is very hard to find and they are extremely marked up as well. But this is kind of the middle of the range. I would say this or the Platinum, which is the next level up for the Ford, would be pretty comparable to the R1T. And this one right here is actually going for $93,000. And I did want to leave this article for you down below, but I'll just kind of summarize a couple things here. It kind of goes into the Rivian truck versus the Ford Lightning. And at first, they gave Rivian the second place award and Ford the first place award. However, after Ford cited demand and material costs, just like Rivian did when they raised their vehicle prices, Motor Trend here, which is the one that supplied this article, did say that now with Ford raising prices a little bit, and of course MSRP, it's hard to even get one at MSRP, kind of flips the equation that they gave on its head, saying the Lightning is actually 2,000 more nearly than a comparably equipped R1T. But in the end, it kind of can go down to personal preference. What do you like more? Do you like the look of the Ford? Do you like the look of the Rivian? Do you want the attention the Rivian would bring? I definitely think the Rivian is more of an attention-grabbing truck. I personally like the look of both of them equally in my eyes. I think they're both pretty beautiful trucks. They both have pretty comparable charging. I'd say the Rivian is a little better. And according to this, the Rivian is a four-motor, whereas the Ford is a two-motor. But I feel like in a lot of ways, you know, this goes to personal preference. What do you like more? They are pretty comparable in price. And to me, that indicates that the Rivian has a competitive product, same with the Ford. But when you're comparing these two trucks that are available, the two EVs that are currently available right now in form of a truck, they are pretty head to head when it comes to value and what you're getting for that price. Now, do I personally think that these two vehicles are just insanely priced? Yes, I mean, these vehicles are almost six figures. In some cases, they are six figures. That's insane to me. However, there is clearly demand for both of these trucks. And I believe as time marches on, these Rivians and these Ford Lightnings will both do well in terms of sales and will keep their demand. But what do you guys think about Rivian? Do you own this stock? Are you just watching it? And let me know down below if you want me to cover their earnings coming up. I wasn't planning on doing it. Definitely have a very busy week covering Workhorse, covering Cincyonix, covering Bingo, covering Clean Sparks mining update. It's gonna be a very busy week, but I will be at the least posting my reaction to my Discord about how Rivian's doing in terms of their earnings. But thanks as always for watching guys and have a good rest of your day.